flowchart was created with the understanding that EKGs are difficult to interpret. It was created to be an easy to use tool that can be used for teaching or at the point of care. This chart will help you quickly and accurately identify EKG groupings. Here is a sample EKG. Without quite a bit of training, it is difficult to see how different anatomical locations of the heart correlate with the EKG leads on a standard 8.5 by 11 inch EKG. Now, let's apply the FOX chart. Immediately, the user can quickly identify EKG groupings using the color-coded sections in the middle of the chart. If we look, we can see leads 1, AVL, V5, and V6 are a group. Using the color-coded key in the upper left-hand corner, we see that leads 1, AVL, V5, and V6 involve the lateral wall of the heart, which is led by the circumflex artery. Using ST segment changes as an example, if there are two or more ST segment changes in two or more contiguous leads, the patient could potentially be having a myocardial infarction. The same principle applies to all other lead groupings on the FOX chart. If there are ST segment changes in leads 2, 3, and AVF, refer back to the color-coded key in the upper left-hand corner to identify which part of the heart and its correlating coronary artery is involved. In addition to identifying lead groupings, the FOX chart has an axis deviation chart. Leads 1 and AVF are used when identifying axis deviation. For example, if lead 1 is positive and lead AVF is negative, then we have a left axis deviation. This chart can be used to identify anything from a normal axis to extreme right axis deviation. In the bottom right hand corner, there is a diagram to help with identification of bundle branch blocks. In the bottom left hand corner are universal instructions for basic EKG interpretation. We hope you find the FOX chart easy to use and helpful while in teaching or practical application settings.